Ninja trained assassin with swords and guns? That's easy. Snake eyes. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Draw 2. My name's Ramney and today we are going to be drawing Deathstroke, the Terminator, from the Batman Arkham games. Much like Captain America, Slade Wilson was a subject of a super soldier program. And much like Deadpool and Snake Eyes, he is a trained ninja assassin and one of the better villains in Batman's rogues gallery. In the Arkham games, he may be known as one of Batman's arch nemeses. Traditionally in the comics, he is known more as a villain for Nightwing, AKA the old Robin Dick Grayson. There have been many versions of Deathstroke in media, including one where he's known as Slade in the Teen Titans cartoon because uh, the word death just isn't good for a kid's show. And these versions are all really good in their own right, but today I chose to do the Batman Arkham Origins version of Deathstroke because he's got that right mix of complex and fascinating, and I really like that, so there you go. As usual, what you guys need for this tutorial is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black pens to ink afterwards. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause at any time so you guys can catch up on your drawings. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And remember, if you're drawing look different than mine that is completely acceptable as well having said all of that you guys let's get right to the tutorial so to get started with our death stroke picture we are first going to draw a circle uh, for the head up here from that of course we're going to draw the sides of the face going down and then well before I draw the chin I'm actually going to draw a um, this middle line going down first all right, so about this far down, I'm going to draw a chin and I'm going to bring it up like that and like that over here. You'll notice this is a little bit longer than over here. It's not that much longer, but it kind of is. Okay, from there, uh, right here, I'm going to draw the neck going down. And from there, I'm going to, right around here, I'm going to start drawing the shoulders and they go out like that and out again. And I'm going to just draw it this far out on the side right here. Okay. Now let's, let's get started with the body armor. And what you want to do first is you want to find a spot right here. We're going to start right here. We're going to go down like this and then we're going to go up. And this is the chest plate that he has. And it's very distinct. He's got this very distinct look in his chest plate and we got to do this right. Otherwise it's going to be a little bit, it's going to look off. Like his chest plate is too, too far to the uh, left and we don't want that. So, in order to make sure that doesn't happen, let's uh, draw the center line first. There's the center line, and the center line sort of goes like this. Okay, so pay close attention to where that uh, this groove right here is. It's supposed to be the center, but the thing with it, with the thing about it is it sticks out kind of at an angle like this. So that's how we're going to draw it. So from from here, I'm going to draw a line going in like that, and then I'll draw this and this right here. So that that sort of should put the chest plate back towards the center of the body. It, it'll make sense later on, you guys. Right now, I'm not making a lot of sense. Okay, anyway, going back over here, still kind of below the chin. Line like this, and from here, like that. Now back here, out, down, like this, and then same thing over here, out, and then down. Let's leave it like that for now. Let's, uh, let's, uh, give Deathstroke his shape first, and then we'll start putting in some details. Uh, before I do that, I just want to do another line beneath, uh, beneath these two lines right here. Just double that up so it has two lines like that. All right, let's go over here and let's start to draw the shoulder blade or short shoulder plate. And it goes straight like this, and then it goes down. And from here, go across and then down. All right, so you see this right here. It's kind of got like a, these two sort of attached to each other with a, a strap. So you kind of want that to happen. And then now we're going to draw a curve and another curve. And then I'm going to draw kind of a, a circle, sort of a circle like that. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I'm gonna to go to the other side and do the exact same thing. But on this side, it's going to look a little different, of course. So from here, I'm going to go to the neck. I'm going to go up and then I'm going to go down and like that. So it's about this far. You want to create a gap that's about this big. And that's how you want to do it. From the top, line going down. 
around like this, do it twice. And then I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to draw a curve going out and then down like this. So you kind of want this size and this size to be about the same. So you want, you want it to be about that big. Okay. And then I'm just going to draw that line very lightly. And then we'll continue on with the rest of that later on. Let's do the, he's got a strap over here with a bunch of uh, pouches. So let's do the pouches first. I'm gonna start um, right here, actually. From here, draw a line going out. And I'm gonna draw a rectangle like that. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna draw another rectangle here, just like that. So if I erase the lines, I should have two rectangles like this. And then I'm gonna draw two more rectangles. Um, I'm gonna draw a line from here going down. And same thing here, line going down. And then I'm gonna draw two more rectangles right here. One and two. These are gonna be the pouches. And they sort of go around. I'm uh, not quite sure how they go over the shoulder. Uh, in the reference photo that I have, doesn't seem to go above it, but probably below it. Anyway, all right, so let's go to this first rectangle right here and let's turn it into a pouch. I'm gonna draw another line going through like this. So I'm gonna make this into a rectangular prism. And that's essentially just saying it's gonna be 3D line in the middle. So this line in the middle creates that, um, the, what do you call it, the, the cover, the flap that keeps the, uh, the pouch closed. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a strap that goes like this in the middle. I'll be shading that in later. And then another square beneath that, like that. Okay, so I hope you guys can kind of see what that pouch looks like. I'll uh, draw another line right here. And then we'll do the exact same thing on this side. So draw a line over here. So it gives it that 3D rectangle look. Uh, I, I soften the corners so that they're curves instead of sharp points. Do that for all of the corners. Okay, and then line going through the middle. Okay, no sharp points, so you wanna curve that and curve this. And now, you got the little Velcro that keeps it closed and then a little square right there. So that's a strap. I'm going to create another uh, little thing right here, kind of just a, a canister of some sort right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw that line first and then just draw like the, a cylinder shape. a circle over here and then let's continue that strap right here and then I'm gonna draw these they look like um, pouches for knives I'm gonna create the um, the flap again right here and here soften the corners and what I do is I'm gonna double up on all of these lines except the top there you go and then I also do two lines right here and then two lines right here. And I'm just gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it to there. Actually, I won't go any further down than that. Uh, underneath that, okay, see right here? This is gonna be the end of the chest plate. So what you wanna do is you wanna create this little, uh, little upside down U curve right there, just to indicate that that's the end of the chest plate. And this is gonna be the plates for his abs. Now let's shape, let's give his uh, chest plate some definition. And so from here, okay, uh, imagine the center line right here. We still have this, uh, the center line. Uh, let's go from the center line and we're gonna go out like that, this way and out this way, right? And then go here this time. We're gonna go out this way and out this way. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give us this shape right here. This is the shape that we want, okay? First draw a line across, and then I'm gonna create two grooves and then another line across, and I'm gonna darken that. Okay, now underneath, I'm gonna draw a line right here, and then I'm going to draw this um, 
strap coming out from down there. And then draw this line. And then what I'm going to do is draw a line going out like this, diagonal like that. Okay. And then I'll do it again. So there's two lines right here. And then I go in like this. And then this line goes from here and go down this way. Okay. I'm going to draw a little upside down triangle right here. I'm going to shade that in. I'm going to double this up. I'm going to draw another line right here. And then I'm going to angle it so that it meets that corner right there. Now I'll do the exact same thing on this side. Line across, down. And I'm going to draw this line. And then angle like this. Right here. Let me fix that. And then black long rectangle at the top. Okay. Two lines on the side. And then this one goes down. And then the line going across right here. With the strap going down. It changes directions as, uh, slightly as you can see. Right here, I'm going to draw another curve. And then I'm going to double up. I'll, I'll draw two lines right here where the chest plate ends. Two lines, just like that. OK, so it's looking a little complicated. But once we start inking it, it'll it'll all start to make sense. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to double up on this line and this line as well. And this line, too. There you go. So we kind of got the chest plate down. Just gonna extend that a little bit. So that's good. So we've got we've got the chest. Let's uh let's go over here and let's actually start drawing Deathstroke's mask. And this is kind of well, he is pretty known for his mask. So it's it's sort of what distinguishes him. His uh half and half mask with only one eye socket. So there's the half. What we want to do is we want to create an eye line going across like this and then back like that. Okay. So from there, I'm going to draw a line like that. And that's where I'm going to start drawing the... Actually, let me move that a little higher. Draw a line going out like this and then down. And I'm going to... I'm going to create this almost sideways teardrop shape. That's the shape that I want. Okay, and then from here, line going out, actually line going down, and then out like that. And I'll show you where that goes. Uh, from here now, I'm going to go a line going out like this, a very small one, and then line going down as well. And now we're going to go down here to the chin, and we're going to find this line just like that, and it, and it crosses the path of these two right here at this point and this point. And then it creates this cheekbone right there. So I'm going to draw another line going right here. And then it goes this way. And then I'm going to draw it going up to the top of the head. OK. Now inside, I'm going to draw a line going down and then curves right here. And then a very faint line right there. Okay. And that's that's where his eye is gonna be. So I'm gonna draw the eye, and it's gonna be like an eye shape like this to the top of like to this line right here. So I've got that, and then I'm just going to draw the people inside like that. Now I'm gonna go back over here. And now do you see where I sort of have this right here. I want to create the exact same thing right here. So I'm going to go from here. I'm going to bring it up to here so that they both kind of match. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
um, reach the side of the head and then draw a line going up, just like that. And then just like that. Actually, let's uh, bring that all the way to the top of the head here. So you want to you give that illusion that there should be another eye right here. But of course, Death, Deathstroke only has one working eye and he prefers the other eye socket to be closed. So we're not going to fill that in. It's just going to look like that. So it goes out to the side and it goes up, kind of goes to the right and then goes up again. And then of course, let's not forget the, the slits uh, on the mouth. He's got four, one, two, three, four. You kind of want it to be the same height. So there you go. All right, now let's draw the neck. It goes down like this. We're gonna draw a line going down the middle. It sort of goes down and then changes direction going down again. From here, now we're gonna draw a line going down like that. And same thing over here, line going down like this. Right here, line like that. And line like this right here. And I'm just going to draw angle, angle like that. And then another one up top, right in the middle here, up and then to the right, up here up to the left. Okay, I'm gonna draw another line going down. Same thing over here, line going down. And then now I'm just gonna just draw this line like this. I'll draw this line and we're gonna leave it like that. That should be good. Now let's go to the shoulder pads. Actually, you know what, before we go to the shoulder pads, uh, let's not forget the, um, what do you call it? The bandana, kind of like the cloth that hangs from the back of his head. And let's have it go this way. It's more dynamic and dramatic that way. So I'm gonna just draw a zigzag line going across like that. And then I'll do it twice, one like that. And you don't want it to sort of follow and to have it all the same width. So here it gets a little narrower where here gets narrow too. And just use your judgment and go narrow and then wide. And then at the end, it sort of gets cut off at an angle like that. So there's one, let's do another one. And let's make this one go underneath like that. Okay, now let's do the exact same thing. Go narrow at times. There you go. So there's a strap. Now, let's uh, finish his arms and let's do a little bit of the sides of his uh, body here and we should be good to go. First, right here, I'm going to draw. This is the orange part of his shoulder, shoulder pads. Okay, and then right here. Fix that up a little bit, goes across. And it goes like that. All right, now, from here, out, and then down, and then back to the right like this, and then down some more, okay? Now from here, I'm going to create this line across very faintly, and then I'm just going to reshape that shoulder pad like that, okay? Now we'll go back over here, go up, around, or across, and then down like this. This is gonna be skinnier. This right here is skinnier than this. So we have this type of shoulder pad. We're going to put some canisters on it. So we're going to first draw this line right here and I'm gonna draw a line going across his shoulder pad. Okay. And then here I'm going to draw four canisters. So first I'm gonna draw four rectangles. One, two, three. And then the fourth one is gonna go on the other side and it's just going to be right here. Like that. Now, ovals at the bottom. Kind of want the top to be an oval or like a curve as well. So we got the canisters and now let's have the, the strap go around them. So first I'm gonna draw two lines like this and then an X in that rectangle that's created. Now the canisters are gonna be wrapped by that strapped. So 
we just draw curves like this, <coughs> excuse me, to show that. And then over here, of course, right there. Okay, so there we've got the canisters. Uh, if you want to go into more detail, I'm going to draw two more lines right here, or another line beneath, just at the top. Now I'm going to kind of draw a line going out like this. Imagine a line going across, but it doesn't really connect. I'll go back over here and I just finish that off. Okay. Underneath that, I'll draw another pad that sort of follows this uh, curve that we have right here. Once you get here, I'm just going to draw a line going up like that. All right, let's end it there. Now we'll go over here. I'm going to draw a line going out. And then as you reach here, I'm going to angle it down and then down some, just about that much. So you want to create this, it kind of looks like a square here beneath it, but it's going to be a padded square. So it's going to look like that. And then I'm just going to draw some more padding here. I go down here now, and then I just continue that down and then angle down. And then now we're going to close it off. So you go back to the left and then you go up. And actually what you want to do is you want to bring this to here, just like that. So let's see. Um, bicep and shoulder pads. It's a very complicated design. And to be honest with you, the reason why we're doing death strokes top half, top quarter, is because the rest of them is just as complicated as this and this, and that would take hours to do a tutorial on. So let's uh, not do that. All right, so let's uh, figure out where his bicep is going to go. And it's going to go right here. That's going to be where his arm is. And then his side is going to go this way and then down very faintly right now. Okay, so now you want this to go around the bicep, like a strap that's attached. And I'm gonna draw several lines like that to show that it's a strap. I'm gonna draw a line going down right here and right here. More straps, actually, and then one in the middle. And then I'm just gonna create that line right there, like a series of lines across. And then we're going to do another strap right here. And then actually right here, I'm going to draw a line going down. Okay, let the strap go across. And then right here, another line going down. And then here's the forearm. I'm just going to draw, start the forearm like that. And then on this side, angled line. And then line going across and then here on this side short line like this and then short line going down and that's where i'm going to leave it actually there's one more little line going out like this right there so it's going to be part of his uh, gauntlet that he wears there you go all right now let's draw the side i'm actually going to bring this up like that to till it touches this part right here. And now I'm going to, okay, so there's a padding underneath this uh, chest plate and it's like the soft padding uh, because this is gonna be hard and then here's gonna be the soft padding underneath. So I go across right here and then I go back in like that. And then from here, it kind of goes out like this. So I make a third line right here. So one, two, three lines. And then in like this. And then there's gonna be a strap that goes out one where it changes direction like this. So this line right here, when it changes direction, you want a strap going out to the back right there. And it goes, and I draw a series of lines going across it. And then I'm just gonna take this line and then I'm just going to continue it like this. And then further down like that. All right. Um, I'm actually just going to leave that side 
just like that. He's supposed to have a another um, uh, knife right here, but uh, it gets cut off anyway, so I'm not going to start it. Okay. Now let's go on the opposite side on this arm now, and let's finish off death stroke. Okay, so here at the top, we've got this line right here. Now this is going to be the orange part. Finish this off. Like that. Now, let me just uh, make this a little bit darker so you can see it. Okay. I'm going to draw a line right here, goes across, and I stop right here, and I bring it down in a curve, and then straight down, and then I bring it to the left, and then down. Let me, uh, let me fix that. Okay, and then I'm going to bring it out like that. All right, so we've got this little gap right here. And now let's fill that gap in. So I'm going to draw a line going right through the middle of it like this. Like that. And then I go back this way right here. All right, that's good. Now I'll go right here. I'm going to draw a line going out like that. Kind of angled and then i'm going to go back over here and i'm basically creating see this right here this is the bicep strap i'm going to do the exact same thing right here just the bicep strap and that bicep strap of course has a strap that goes in like that Now I'm going to go from here, I'm going to draw this little bump right here, and then go back out like that. And what I'm going to create is a pretty much the bicep shape. So from here, now, we want to make sure that they sort of align with each other. So you, want to, you want to keep it the same, uh, the same. So here to here, that's the bicep right there. And then in the middle of the bicep here, I just draw a line going out. And this is now the forearm. And let's see, I'm just going to draw a little two lines of a triangle right there, line across like that. And then I'm going to draw another two lines of a triangle like that. And the rest is going to be the same as this, but I'm not going to draw the rest. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Actually, I'm going to take this line and bring it this way and then down and then across again. So that's, uh, that's how I'm going to leave um, Deathstroke's gauntlet right here. Alright, so one more thing we're going to draw is a little blade that he has in the back here. Uh, the handle for his sword. And the handle, we're going to start from here, we're just going to draw two lines, angled lines, going up like this. You want to try to make it so that it's proportional to him, so imagine the size of the handle should be about the same size as, you know, him. All right, so from here, I'm gonna draw a line across like that. Now about three quarters of the way this way, so right around here, I'll draw a line like this and then an ankle line like this. And then I'm just going to draw a line going across like that. Okay. Right about this much. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle just a little bit past that right here. Okay, now I'm going to go back over here where this line, okay, we have this line that's called, that goes across here. I'm going to draw a line going out like this and then a line going across like that. And from here, I'm just going to draw a line going, I'm going to draw a line going up and then a line going across like that to here. And then here I'm just going to draw an angle, like a triangle right there. And that's sort of where the sword ends. 
and I can erase the rest. All right, so I'm just going to draw that right there, and then a circle right here. Shade that in with black, this one as well. And we're good. And I think that's it, you guys. It's been a, he's very complicated to draw and I hope you guys uh, succeed in your Deathstroke drawings, but that is how you draw Deathstroke the Terminator from the Arkham uh, Origins game. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys stay tuned all the way to the end so you can click on the annotations I have around me on this screen. I hope your drawings of Deathstroke turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, don't forget you guys can post them on the Google Plus community page and you can also enter them in my contest if you haven't done so already. The deadline is next Friday or this Friday, November 18th. I have a link to that video in the description below if you guys want to know more about the contest. If you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to do my videos or to make my tutorials, I have links to those in the description description below. Clicking on those links helps to ensure content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff for you guys free of charge. My question of the day, which version of Deathstroke is your favorite? I've seen footage of the Deathstroke that's going to appear in the Justice League movie and I'm very excited to see what this Deathstroke is all about because he's going to be facing some of the most powerful heroes in the DC universe in Justice League. So we'll see how badass this character is going to be. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you guys subscribe. Here in this channel, I'll show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step-by-step -step instructions. So if you guys do like what you see, come on over and hit that subscribe button just below this video. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this video with your friends in social media. Speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website draw2.com where you can download a free coloring page of Deathstroke the Terminator. Again, you guys, all of these links are in the description below. Having said all of that, you guys, thank you once again for watching, and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Traditionally, traditionally, traditionally in the comics, Slade Wilson is a Slade Wilson was a, much like Captain America Slade, much like Captain America Slade Wilson is a, Slade Wilson was a subject of a super, I'm tired.